Right, just doing a little video. I'm at, um, this is called Poldenhide. I've just walked from that way and all the way round. And uh, I've, got, I've got a map in here in a minute, which I'll look at. I've already been in here. I just show so that people know. I've got to take photos. Um, it's very, very hot in here. There's various windows. There's leaflets. Um, great big window there that you can look out of. You can watch insects as well. Um, birds, different birds flying in front of you, entertaining. Um, from here I can see the barrage balloon hangar, which you, is on the other side of the river, which I've talked about quite a lot in other videos. There it is. It's quite visible because it is so big. One of the only le ones left in the country. There might be possibly a one another. Over there, there's um, another hide, which I think that's the Mendip hide that I went on into last week when I discovered all this. There's Cummage, there's the uh, church, and I'm parked not far from that tower there in Alberta. I'm hoping to get the way all the way to Steert in a minute. I've seen already seen a swan nesting for real. And there is a car park and toilet facilities over there. I am not sure. Like oh yeah, I can see I can see now. I'm gonna carry on. Following this trail, I've now seen the path right up there, so we're all right. Brent Knoll's right over in the distance. This is called the Marshes, and um, well, it's lovely. Now, all, I mean, I was going to bring Zara out here, but I thought that, that was the weekend. This this will be packed at weekends with families. You know, it won't be peaceful like now, going out on your own. There are a few groups of um, people like me walking about and they're wardens as well keeping an eye on everything which is nice to know um, I've, there's a hide over there that's um, I think that's called the Stockland hide I haven't but that's the toilets actually there I haven't explored over there properly I might do it on the way back and I might pop into a church over nearby as well and um, there's Hinkley Point I'll just zoom in Hinkley Point the power station much in the news, global news over the last couple of years. Been given the go-ahead, of course. And I was just wondering whether my sister Jude and Stuart walked here. Now there's some, some some birds that you don't see all the time unless you come to a place like this. I can't remember the names of them now, but I've, I've taken lots of pictures of the birds on the board. That's a pair. Of, they look like ducks, but they've got a special name. And they like marshland. And here's the marshland, look. This, when the tide comes in, this fills up with water. I'm fortunate at the moment that I've, I am able to video, because the thing is, why I moan about people sometimes is because you can't really video properly and there's people about and they're all talking so once again it's a beautiful summer well it's not quite summer still late spring now um, well not late spring it's mid spring 21st of May 2018 and I'm walking down a beautiful track in a reserve and there's some cows safely behind fencing. My beautiful Quantock Hills in the distance I love and I will be getting out there as well. I've already had one trip out there this year. Um, but I... I will be doing it again. It's nice to be able to walk this and to know that you've got to walk back. But it is nice. I am enjoying it. And it's safe. I mean, there is a road over there, and I think you can drive down. 
and there's probably another parking area but the thing is um and that's what some people do especially if they can't walk far they can stop off there do those hides and then get back in their car and go back go down to the next station if you like uh, buttercups are all out it's all so pretty it's all so beautiful i'm hoping to get this will be part two because part one would have been last week and um, i'm glad they put toilets i didn't know that they had toilet facilities they might even have some further up now years ago when i was at school one of my best school friends was called hillary williams and um she she lived out here on stair she was um daughter of a farmer they lived out here in the middle of nowhere and i think she went on to train to be a physiotherapist now um i haven't seen her since i was 16 by the way there's an awful lot of people that I haven't seen since I was 16 because as soon as I was 16 and 7 months old only two, and only 2 months after leaving school I left Somerset and went to work in a mental hospital as a cadet nurse I left everything I never even came back to visit for 3 years I had been suffering with some sort of anger issues because my mum had died when I was 14, nearly 15 and um, you know I, I felt abandoned, I wasn't happy I wanted to get away from it all and I did and it was a good experience I used to go horse riding every weekend on Dartmoor muck out in the stables I had a good social life I was well fed for those years and then I decided mental nursing wasn't for me at the time. I just thought, no, I can't do this. Look after people, I don't feel I'm gulping them. So I went off to do my further education in, in um, got a couple of A-levels, not very good, I mean, but I, you know, I got by. I had lots of problems going on when I was doing that. Boyfriends, <laughs> didn't study a lot. And anyway, uh, so I did that, went to Israel, came back across Europe, stayed to work on a kibbutz for about three months in Israel, and uh, went all over the country, loved it. Oh look, we got another hide coming up. It's good this, isn't it? It's like little castles. So then what I'm doing, when I do my, this is like a reflective journal app mixed with a visual diary. So uh, I, I often mix the two, private and public, not revealing anything too revealing, just some outlines. Some of you know it anyway. So that's a little bit of my life. I'll carry on with what happened next later or another time. I'll leave you when I was um, enjoying life working in Israel, seeing all the beautiful places like Jerusalem, Bethlehem. I've been in all the seas, Mediterranean, Sea of Galilee, Red Sea, Dead Sea. Yep, climbed up mountains, worked in the olive groves. Uh, yeah, that's just so much I'd done. I had a great time. Young. I was young. I was uh, f sort of fit, but uh, not as fit as I could be. <laughs> um, that's be that'll be another section. Um, because after when I was in Israel, it didn't happen in Israel, but uh, a man speaking Hebrew told me I was pregnant. And that was my first daughter, born, Zara, when I got back to England. That was a whole new ball game, because I was supposed to be going to university. But um, I, that was put on hold. I put that on hold for a couple of years, all that sort of thing, just to look after my child. And then um, I knew that I had to get some education. I was very motivated, actually. 
and uh, I don't regret a lot of the things I've done actually not really obviously it would be better under easier circumstances I and mean, some people have it all laid on a plate you know it wasn't like that for me I didn't I didn't have any parents as such. My mum was dead. Hardly saw my dad, although he did help me out. He did give me bits and pieces of money. He sent me money when I was in Israel as well. So he did help. He did contribute. Um, but there was no control over me, really, because I didn't have, I didn't have my mum. I didn't have anyone telling me, oh, you can't do that, Sheila. Nobody told me nothing. It was a hippie time, so I joined in. In fact, the farmer where I stay, I had I had a small cottage when I first had Zara, and I down in Totnes, and uh, he said I it was my fault. And he had all the hippies move in after I left. <laughs> Wigwams, babies being born in his fields. He said, "You started something, Sheila. When you come, and it's still happening now, but I don't know if they're." They're not hippies anymore, they're sort of people who've got nowhere to live. But I don't know if that's still happening because um, Harvey the farmer died, so he passed it on to his nephews and nieces, and uh, I don't know what they were going to do. Anyway, most of you will be saying, Oh, if we don't want to hear all about your family, Sheena. We want to come here. We're hoping you're going to spot some wild animals and some birds. But it don't take long, look. A minute ago, I was over, just over there. Now I'm here, look. With Tinkley Point dominating. I'm enjoying every minute of this. I'm enjoying every minute of it. I love it. This might not have a name, this one. This, uh, this is an open one. <sighs> yeah, so I've walked all the way from near that... See, the church over there, all the way round I've done and I'm carrying on I'm just going to stop here have a drink and get something out to eat over and out